That's cause you was up on the roof of our garage making nasties. <laughs> In the early 1970s, the casting process for the groundbreaking TV series All in the Family brought together a talented group of actors who would become household names. The show's producers, Norman Lear and Bud Yorkin, saw individuals who could authentically portray the working class Bunker family and their friends. For the role of Archie Bunker, a conservative, blue collar worker, Lear and Yorkin initially considered actors like Mickey Rooney and Jackie Gleason. However, they eventually chose Carol O'Connor, who had previously appeared in films like Kelly's Heroes. O'Connor's ability to balance Archie's rough edges with moments of vulnerability won over the producers. Jean Stapleton, a seasoned stage and screen actress, was cast as Archie's doting wife, Edith Bunker. Stapleton's audition showcased her comedic timing and her knack for playing the sweet, yet sharp-witted character. Rob Reiner, son of legendary comedian Carl Reiner, was chosen to play the liberal, college-educated meathead, Edith's nephew, and Archie's constant foil. Reiner's chemistry with O'Connor during auditions solidified his role in the series. Finally, Sally Struthers, a young actress with appearances in films like Five Easy Pieces, was cast as Gloria, Archie, and Edith's daughter. Struthers and Reiner's on-screen chemistry led to their character's marriage in the series. The casting of all in the family proved to be instrumental in the show's success as the actors' genuine portrayals of their characters contributed to the series' enduring impact on television history. Oh, I can't believe all this is all ours! All in the Family, the groundbreaking 1970s TV series, was brought to life by director John Rich. Rich's approach was characterized by his commitment to authenticity and his ability to tackle controversial subjects with humor and sensitivity. He was influenced by his background in live television, which taught him the importance of pacing and timing. Rich's directing style was hands-on and collaborative. He worked closely with the show's creators, Norman Lear and Bud Yorkin, as well as the cast and crew to ensure that every episode was true to the show's vision. He encouraged actors to improvise and add their own touches to their characters, resulting in a more natural and believable performance. One of Rich's most significant contributions to All in the Family was his ability to balance the show's heavy themes with humor. He understood that the show's subject matter, which included topics like racism, sexism, and politics, could be difficult for some viewers. By incorporating humor, he made the show more accessible and appealing to a wider audience. Rich's approach to directing was also informed by his belief in the power of television to affect social change. He saw All in the Family as an opportunity to start conversations and challenge viewers' assumptions about important issues. Through his direction, he helped to create a show that was not only entertaining, but also thought-provoking and relevant. In summary, John Rich's directorial vision was instrumental in bringing All in the Family to life. His commitment to authenticity, his ability to balance heavy themes with humor, and his belief in the power of television to affect social change all contributed to the show's success. Through his collaborative approach and hands-on direction, he helped to create a show that resonated with audiences and left a lasting impact on television history. For the first week, no television at all. And after the second week, and this is going to be rough. All in the Family, a groundbreaking TV series that first aired in 1971, offers a unique blend of humor, shock, and sadness. The show revolves around the Bunker family, and through their experiences, it explores serious social issues like racism, women's rights, and sexuality. One of the most memorable characters is Archie Bunker, the conservative, bigoted father, played by Carol O'Connor. His character is often at odds with his more liberal son-in-law, Mike Stivick, portrayed by Rob Reiner. A particularly impactful scene occurs in the episode titled Sammy's Visit, where Sammy Davis Jr. surprises Archie by showing up at his doorstep. This moment challenges Archie's prejudiced views and leaves a lasting impression on viewers. We invite you to share your favorite memories or personal experiences related to this iconic TV series. What was your favorite role or scene? Did any particular moment resonate with you? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts about All in the Family.
Oh, sure, Lou Gehrig. Yeah, well, it, 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 thanks for... The 1970s sitcom All in the Family was filmed in Los Angeles, with the bunker home being a central location. The set design was meticulously crafted to depict a working class home, filled with detailed props and a cozy atmosphere. The crew paid close attention to creating a lived-in look, even going so far as to show the wear and tear on furniture and the presence of clutter. The exterior shots of the bunker home were filmed at a real house in Los Angeles, while interior scenes were shot on a soundstage. This required careful coordination to ensure continuity between exterior and interior shots. The production team also had to navigate the logistical challenges of filming in a city, securing permits, and managing traffic. All in the Family was one of the first TV shows to use a live audience for canned laughter, which added to the show's energy and realism. The crew had to carefully plan each episode's filming schedule to accommodate the audience, including breaks for applause and laughter. One innovative technique employed during production was the use of multiple cameras to capture different angles simultaneously. This allowed for more efficient filming and enabled the crew to capture candid moments between actors. Despite the challenges, the production team of All in the Family created a groundbreaking show that tackled important social issues and resonated with audiences. The show's impact transcended television and left an enduring mark on American culture. Oh, I gotta speak to you, Archie. Mr. Bird, I'd like to talk to my husband for a minute. Is that Archie Bunker, the main character in the 1970s TV series All in the Family, never fails to make me laugh. His unique perspective and humor surpass that of many modern comedians. The show, which spans nine seasons, covers a wide range of topics, with Archie offering his opinion on each one. Unfortunately, I didn't find Gloria and Edith, the other main characters, to be as compelling. Their acting and character choices seem weaker compared to Archie. Gloria's character, in particular, felt better suited for a circus performance while Edith's peculiar way of moving was reminiscent of a zoo animal. One notable aspect of the show is its forward-thinking approach. The producers managed to incorporate many of the arguments and issues that would become prominent in the 21st century, with Archie providing his take on each one. The late actress Carol O'Connor, who played Archie, will always be remembered for her excellent performance. I am grateful for the laughter she brought into my life over the past eight years. In summary, all in the Family is a classic television series that has stood the test of time. Its main character, Archie Bunker, remains a memorable and entertaining figure, despite the passing of several decades since its original airing. Mix it out like Matt Dillon. <laughs> the score and soundtrack for the 1971 TV series All in the Family were carefully crafted to complement the narrative and emotional tone of the show. The music, composed by Lee Adams and Charles Strauss, effectively captured the essence of the era and the working class setting of the show. The jazzy and upbeat theme song, Those Were the Days, sung by Carol O'Connor and Gene Stapleton, set the tone for the series and became iconic. The music often reflected the humor, tension, and poignant moments within the episodes, enhancing the viewer's connection to the characters and storylines. The composers and musicians involved aimed to create a soundtrack that resonated with the show's themes and added depth to the viewing experience. <laughs> Betty Garrett, known for her role in All in the Family, received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for live theater on her 84th birthday. She started her acting career at a young age. Sally Struthers, who played Gloria Stivick in the series, was mentored by her co-star Carol O'Connor. She has continued to act in various productions since then. Dennis Patrick, who played Steve Keaton, made his acting debut at the age of eight in a children's show production of H.M. Spinafore. His passion for acting continued to grow throughout his life. No. Oh, one of the most iconic scenes in All in the Family is from the episode Gloria Has a Belly Full. In this scene, Gloria, played by Sally Struthers, is in labor with her first child. The direction, performance, and cinematography all contribute to the intensity and emotion of the moment. The scene is shot in real time, with the camera focused on Gloria's face as she struggles through each contraction. The lighting is dim, with a single lamp casting a warm glow over the room 
creating a sense of intimacy and vulnerability. Struthers' performance is exceptional. She captures the pain and fear of childbirth, as well as the determination to see it through. Her husband, Michael, played by Rob Reiner, is also outstanding in this scene. He is both supportive and overwhelmed, and his reactions add to the tension. The impact of this scene on the audience is significant. It is a raw and honest portrayal of childbirth, and it resonates with anyone who has gone through the experience. The scene is also a testament to the show's willingness to tackle difficult and taboo subjects. According to Struthers, that scene was very real. I remember being in labor with my own child while filming it, so it was a very emotional and intense experience for me. Reiner also commented on the scene, saying it was a challenging scene to shoot, but it was also incredibly rewarding. It was a privilege to be a part of such a powerful moment. Overall, this scene is a prime example of the direction, performance, and cinematography coming together to create a truly iconic moment in television history. James Cromwell, known for his role in the remake of Salem's Lot, has a notable filmography with five Oscar-nominated films, including The Artist, which won the category. On the other hand, Isabel Sanford, after joining the American Negro Theater in Harlem, became a member of the Star Players. Her accomplishments extend to the TV series All in the Family, which was widely popular. Cromwell's ex-wife, Julie Cobb, also starred in the original Salem's Lot. Their contributions to the film and television industry have left a lasting impact. I think you've been hopping around on your head. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. All in the Family, a 1971 TV series, made a significant cultural and social impact by addressing relevant social and cultural themes in a straightforward and humorous way. The show resonated with audiences as it tackled issues like racism, women's rights, and conservative values, which were relatable and thought-provoking for viewers. All in the Family was groundbreaking in its portrayal of the Bunker family, led by the conservative and opinionated Archie Bunker. The character's bigotry and narrow-mindedness sparked conversations about prejudice and opened the eyes of many viewers to the experiences of marginalized communities. The series also contributed to the evolution of pop culture by challenging traditional television norms. Its use of humor to address serious social issues was a new approach that inspired other shows to follow suit. Additionally, the show's frank discussions about topics like menopause and impotence helped to break down barriers and reduce stigmas surrounding these issues. Furthermore, All in the Family played a crucial role in advancing discussions on women's rights. The character of Edith Bunker, Archie's wife, was portrayed as a strong and intelligent woman who often challenged her husband's outdated views. This depiction of a capable and assertive female character was empowering for women and helped to shift societal perceptions of gender roles. In conclusion, All in the Family left a lasting impact on television and society by addressing relevant social and cultural themes with humor and honesty. The show resonated with audiences, influenced pop culture, and contributed to important discussions on topics like racism, women's rights, and conservative values. Yesterday is the tomorrow ain't never gonna see that. James Cromwell, standing at 665, holds the title as the tallest Oscar-nominated actor, recognized for his supporting role in Babe. The TV series All in the Family and its spin-off, Archie Bunker's Place, featured various pop music references, from Mamas and the Papas to the Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack, and even Devo concerts. Interestingly, Danielle Brisebois, who played Stephanie, later joined the New Radicals, known for their alternative grunge hit You Only Get What You Give. The theme song's lyrics, Boy the Way Glenn Miller Played, songs that made the hit parade, evoke nostalgia for the past, when life was simpler, and self-reliance was the norm. This generational show, focusing on Archie Bunker's family, created a unique blend of humor and social commentary, leaving a lasting impact on television history. Bully would never do them things for you. Why the hell not? Cause she don't like you. <laughs> All in the Family, a groundbreaking 1970s TV series, received significant critical acclaim and awards throughout its run. 
The Show, which tackled controversial topics such as racism, women's rights, and homophobia, was praised for its boldness and realism. The New York Times hailed the series as a situation comedy of exceptional candor, intelligence, and sensitivity. The Los Angeles Times called it the most provocative and entertaining comedy on TV. Audiences connected with the show's relatable characters and timely issues, making it one of the most popular series of the decade. All in the Family received 22 Emmy nominations and won four awards, including Outstanding Comedy Series in 1971, 1972, and 1973. Carol O'Connor, who played the show's patriarch, Archie Bunker, won two Emmys for his performance. The show also received four Golden Globe nominations and won two awards, including Best TV Series Musical or Comedy in 1972. These accolades were significant for those involved in the show, as they recognized the impact and importance of the series. The awards also helped to legitimize the genre of television comedy and pave the way for future shows to tackle controversial topics. All in the Family's legacy continues to resonate today as it remains one of the most influential TV series in history. Its innovative storytelling and groundbreaking subject matter have inspired countless other shows and continue to be studied and celebrated by audiences and critics alike. It's all my fault. I haven't hurt so rotten in the last few days. I'm, I'm really sorry, honey. During the opening credits of All in the Family, there was a laugh track that followed when Edith hit off notes on and you knew where you were then. The show's character, Archie, was fond of reading the National Enquirer. Estelle Parsons, who played the role of Blanche in All in the Family, had an accomplished career in theater. She received Tony nominations for Best Actress in a Play for her performances in The Seven Descents of Myrtle and Miss Reardon Drinks a Little, Miss Margaret's Way in Mornings at Seven. Archie's favorite tabloid, The National Enquirer, was a stark contrast to Parsons' distinguished career in the theater. I'm sorry, I reminded you. The making of the groundbreaking 1970s TV series, All in the Family, was filled with memorable moments and anecdotes. One such story revolves around Carol O'Connor, who played the lead character, Archie Bunker. Known for his fiery temper, O'Connor once had a heated argument with the show's creator, Norman Lear, over a storyline. To cool off, O'Connor went for a walk, only to return and continue the dispute as if no time had passed. This incident showcased the passion both men brought to the show, ultimately contributing to its success. Another anecdote involves Jean Stapleton, who played Edith Bunker. Stapleton was known for her ability to cry on cue, a skill she developed early in her career. During one particularly emotional scene, Stapleton's tears were so genuine that co-star Sally Struthers, who played Gloria Bunker, couldn't help but cry as well. This moment of raw emotion was captured on camera and became one of the show's most memorable scenes. Behind the scenes, the cast often socialized together, forming close bonds. Rob Reiner, who played Michael Meathead Stivic, would frequently invite his co-stars over for dinner, where they would discuss politics, social issues, and the day's filming. These gatherings often led to lively debates, which sometimes carried over onto the set, adding an extra layer of realism to the show's dialogue. The set of All in the Family was also a place of learning and growth for the cast and crew. O'Connor, in particular, was known for his mentorship of younger cast members, offering guidance and advice on acting techniques and career development. This nurturing environment helped create a strong, cohesive ensemble that truly shone on screen. These anecdotes offer a glimpse into the unique and dynamic atmosphere that surrounded the making of All in the Family. The cast and crew's dedication, passion, and camaraderie played a significant role in the show's enduring success and impact on television history. Archie, now this is a wedding, and you promised you wouldn't fight this weekend. Isabel Sanford is known for her recurring role as Louise Jefferson in various television series and a film, including All in the Family, The Jefferson, Roseanne, The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and Mafia. Rob Reiner, who played Michael Stivic in All in the Family, co-wrote the first episode of Happy Days. Alan Melvin, who played various roles in All in the Family, was born in Kansas City, Missouri, and moved to New York City as a young boy. His father worked in the film industry as a salesman for Fox Film Corp. Yeah. 
You know, Joey's saw his first bu- All in the Family, a groundbreaking 1970s TV series, holds a significant place in film history. It dared to tackle controversial topics such as racism, women's rights, and homosexuality, which was revolutionary for its time. The show's honest and humorous approach opened the door for future filmmakers to address similar issues in their work. All in the Family is known for its realistic portrayal of blue-collar American families, which inspired many subsequent TV shows and movies. Its impact can be seen in series like Roseanne, The Jeffersons, and Married with Children, as well as films like Kramer vs. Kramer and Saturday Night Fever. The series also launched the career of actor Rob Reiner, who played the character Michael Stivick. Reiner later became a successful film director, with credits including When Harry Met Sally and The Princess Bride, further solidifying the show's influence on filmmaking. All in the Family's innovative use of humor to explore serious social issues has continued to resonate with audiences, making it a lasting and influential work in the world of television and film. She looks like Howard Cosell in drag. <laughs> B. Arthur, known for her role in the spin-off show Maude, made her first appearance on All in the Family in 1971, having met Carol O'Connor eight years prior all in the Family was a reboot of the British sitcom Till Death Us Do Part, which aired from 1965-1975 and featured a conservative bigot and his family. Interestingly, both shows ran concurrently and were successful, but the American version had a more significant impact on American culture. Gene Stapleton, who played Edith Bunker, was cremated at Ferncliff Cemetery in Mausoleum, and her ashes were buried in William Putch's grave in Pennsylvania. I bet between Archie and me, right, we'll be upstairs. Carol O'Connor, known for his role in All in the Family, played a significant role in Rob Reiner's career. When Reiner was 23, O'Connor took him under his wing, and their friendship lasted until O'Connor's death in 21. Reiner later replaced Ted Griffin as the director of Rumor Has It during its production. B. Arthur, who played Maude Finlay in the spin-off series Maude, maintained a close friendship with Adrian Barbo, who played Carol Trainer during and after the show. Their bond went beyond their on-screen mother-daughter relationship and lasted for many years. Glad to fix something for you if you're hungry. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to make you feel like a servant there. B. Arthur, known for her role in All in the Family, reached a height of 5912 by the age of 12. Theodore Bickle, another cast member, was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for live theater in 25. As for Rob Reiner, who directed several episodes, he holds a unique distinction of having a film on both Roger Ebert's great movies and most hated lists. These notable achievements and milestones add depth to the show's history. Oh, well, that's right, sure. I didn't want to miss the golden fly. <laughs> Where is he? He's coming. James Cromwell, known for his role in All in the Family, was an activist in the late 1960s, participating in the Committee to Defend the Panthers. This group aimed to protect 13 members of the Black Panther Party who were imprisoned in New York on conspiracy charges, all of whom were eventually released. Billy Halep, another cast member, had a sibling in the entertainment industry. His sister, Florence Halep, was an actress. Janice Page, yet another actor in the series, took over the role of Mame Dennis in the Broadway production of Mame in 1968, following Angela Lansbury's departure. Page's performance was highly praised, and she continued in the role for nearly two years. I'm going. And you move faster than that, will you? Then you get going. I'm going. <laughs> what if he already checked the number? Where? Is... <laughs> Sally Struthers, known for her role in All in the Family, has a lesser known talent as a primitive artist working with watercolors and acrylics. The show featured recurring jokes such as Mike and Archie getting stuck in a door, Archie being hit by the kitchen door, and someone sitting in Archie's chair, which was humorously addressed in almost every episode. Estelle Parsons, another All in the Family cast member, became a mother at the age of 27 when she gave birth to twin daughters Abby and Martha Jamin. She also adopted a son, Abraham Parsons Zimroth, in 1983 with her second husband, Peter Zimroth. 
Parsons is a grandmother to Evan Britton, a former American football offensive linesman, and Augustus Britton, a painter, through her daughter Abby. She is also a great grandmother to Sandy Britton, Evan's child. Sit down. Sherman Hemsley, known for his role as George Jefferson in All in the Family, was also a skilled singer. He released a single in 1989 called Ain't That a Kick in the Head on Sutra Records. Co-star Rob Reiner, who played Meathead, still gets called by that name to this day. The writers of All in the Family had originally planned for a plot twist involving Archie and Irene Lorenzo having an affair. However, they later reworked this idea and introduced it in Season 7's multi-episode premiere, Archie's Brief Encounter, where Archie has an affair with a waitress, causing a rift in his relationship with Edith. That's what you want me to trust? What time did you leave the party? Alan Melvin, known for his role in All in the Family, had a brief film career with only one movie to his name. With Six You Get Egg Roll, where he played a minor part as a desk sergeant. In contrast, Rob Reiner, who played Michael Stivick in the series, made a guest appearance on The Odd Couple in 1974, while still starring in All in the Family. He was married to Penny Marshall in real life at the time. Interestingly, Carol O'Connor, who portrayed the conservative character Archie Bunker, held liberal views on political and social issues, which were the complete opposite of his characters. These behind-the-scenes facts add depth to the characters and actors in All in the Family, making it a compelling television series that resonates with audiences even today. Glad to have three wives. <laughs> and then you give up religion. If you have memories and experiences related to the groundbreaking 1970s TV series All in the Family, please share them with us. This show tackled important social issues and left a lasting impact on television. We would love to hear how it affected you personally or influenced your perspective on cinema. Don't hesitate to engage with us by liking, sharing, and subscribing for more explorations into classic television and cinema. Let's start a conversation and learn from each other's experiences. Remember, there's no need for fancy vocabulary. We want to hear your thoughts in your own words. So, whether you were deeply moved by the show's honest portrayal of family dynamics or simply enjoyed the humor and camaraderie, we want to know. Join us in celebrating this iconic series and the impact it had on television and society as a whole. We look forward to hearing from you. You don't like what? You call me boy. I'm not a boy, I'm a man. Well, I even...